This is how to field calibrate the JF1A HH handheld cal uh, conductivity meter. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use our program and our VF calibration tip for the handheld meter to field calibrate this device with your own computer. So the first thing you're going to need is the handheld meter itself, a VF calibration tip, a computer, and a USB mini cable. And we sell all of that and the program to run this with the JF1A HH-CK for a calibration kit. If you go onto your computer, the program that comes with this kit is called vcal.exe. So you open up your vcal program, which opens up on your screen here. And then you scroll down through the operation procedures. Once you've read through all the operation procedures, you click here and then hit OK. Then it says please connect the sensor via the USB cable and ensure the sensor is awake. So we plug the USB cable into our computer and we take the USB end and we put that into the USB connector on our sensor which is on the back of the JF1A HH. To turn the sensor on, you simply hit enter and hold the button down until you see D2 ink flash across the screen. Then you go back to your computer and you hit OK. Then to connect to the unit, you, collect, you select the correct COM port, which is COM port 27 for this handheld. You hit connect. It says Please connect the verification tip to the sensor and plug the VF tip into the power jack. So you take your verification tip, you put that on the sensor tip until it compresses like so, and then you plug the VF tip into the power jack on the handheld, which then screws on to ensure that it's on correctly. You go back to your screen and you hit OK. Then it says, place the switch into the high value position. So you look at your VF tip, which has an H for high value and L for low value. And you make sure the switch is in the high value position. Then you hit OK on the screen. Then it says, start sampling the data with the handheld, then press OK and wait for notification. So you hit enter to sample on the handheld. Enter for location zero. Once you've hit that, it says calculating, so you go back to your computer and hit OK. The handheld should say values over range and sampling flashing on the screen. Then it will give you values on the screen. Until it's complete, do not touch anything. The sensor is scrolled all the way across, but you have not. Now the notification's on the screen. So now it says, do you want to save the new constants to the sensor? So you hit yes. It says, please verify sensor is awake. And it is, it's on, so you hit OK. And you can see here on the screen, the new cal constants will show up in green if they are accepted by the program as accurate. Give the file any name you want. We will call this test1. You hit save, which then saves the new constants into the sensor. Now the screen says, please start sampling with the verification tip connected, then press OK. On your handheld, you hit scroll to clear. You hit enter for location zero. It's calculating, so go back to your computer and hit OK. Once again, you get the value over range and sampling, and then the values. Do not touch anything until you get the notification on your computer screen.
Now the notification is on the screen. It says switch to low position and start sampling data, then press OK. So you hit scroll to clear the screen. You put the unit into the low value position on the verification tip. You hit enter for location zero. Once it's calculating, you hit OK on the screen and you wait for it to finish until you get a notification on the screen. And then here it says, check verification values, press yes to finish, press no to place original contents back into the sensor. So here what you want to do is check to make sure all the values showing on this screen are in green. If that's the case, then the program has tested the new values and accepted them as accurate and you want to save them into the sensor because your sensor is now calibrated with new values. So you hit yes. If any of these are red, that means our program is saying the new values are not accurate and you should not save them into the sensor. If you get red values, please redo the calibration process as I just showed you. And if you still get red values, please call us because we may have to do the calibration in-house. Thank you very much for watching.